Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Leo, this is going to be a reading for your person. This is behind the scenes on them, all right? <clears throat> so we are digging really deep about them, yeah, so we can give you a heads up. This is what we're doing. <clears throat> and let's see, maybe they are only, you know, they only have good things to show for themselves. Let's find out here about Leo's person. I hope I did not say Libra. Leo's person, all right, yeah, the king... The king of the horoscope, supposedly, right? Yeah, it's interesting how they say that king of the zodiac. <clears throat> but let's see what we have. The other day I heard something else about Scorpio. So from an astrologer, all right? So, uh, but in this reading, the, uh, you're the king of the zodiac, all right, Leo? <laughs> so this is your person's reading, right? So it's really, yeah, let's see what we have, okay? But you guys are supposed to be like the, for sure you're the king of the jungle, right? That's why the uh, Leo is like, the lion, right? And in Spanish, the lion is Leo, which is really, or Leon, which is really Leo, right? So you guys are the king of the jungle for sure, all right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> the king over all the animals in the jungle, right? Yeah, let's see what we have for Leo's person. This is really their reading, all right? Don't get confused, you guys. Some people say, oh, I'm confused. And the lover's card, this is their energy so far they have the two of wands they have the five of cups your person is sad here in the recent past the moon could be a secret that was exposed or things coming uh things have been revealed possibly coming out of the dark in the near future they have the nine of cups wow <clears throat> this could be what you have though leo because they're sad over here, so it's unlikely that they're in both of these energies. It doesn't make a lot of sense, right? And the Ace of Cups is what they, uh, in their concern, in their environment, is the Star card. This is kind of a big reading. We have uh, we have three major arcana here, yeah, and an Ace. Yeah, this is kind of in eight cards. So let's see, and we're going to uh, talk about their desire and their outcome in the extended, amongst other energies, right? Let's go ahead and get a couple uh, oracle cards. Let's keep this uh, interesting here, okay? Yeah, let's see what we have for Leo's person. For Leo's person. Show me the energy for Leo's person. We have the claw. And this is be careful, do not take risks. Okay, your person's in this five of cups energy. I don't think they're going to take any risks. They look sad. They look depressed. And now we have the boot. And this is increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So this says don't take any risks, but increase your efforts. So this could be saying uh, don't take any risks on anything new, but increase your efforts, right? Yeah, interesting here. And uh, let's see. Let's continue with the reading. And uh, let's see why your person is in the lover's energy. Why is, could be a Gemini here. And we see the moon card. Pisces or Cancer, and the star is here, and that is Aquarius. Six of Wands. Seven of Cups. What does your person have the Two of Wands? Your person's confused. I feel like if you are moving forward with somebody else, Leo, I feel like that's the case. And why it's all happening is that they are in the Five of Cups energy, which is sadness or an ending. Knight of Pentacles. Person could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Emperor. I feel like your person is in the sad. This could be a sad ending. They're grieving here because they think you are, like, they're confused, but they think you are, like, either exploring your options or, like, just, uh, you know setting things in motion to kind of move forward with somebody else and that you're holding on to someone. I feel like that's what it is for our pentacles. The moon card in the past, why do they have that? So when we see the moon card next to the uh, next to the five of cups, this is like depression. could be a water sign, as I said earlier, but this is typically like depression and doubts and fears about secrets, things like that. And in the recent past, your person uh, has the Five of Pentacles as well. Yeah, and this is, your person was thinking you were going to leave them out for a secret. I feel like that's what it is. And what's on their mind is the Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. 
I feel like your person is trying to get cl gain clarity here whether or not you are leaving. I feel like that's it. Yeah, that's what's on their mind. This is a challenging read, and I said that at the beginning of the reading. When I saw three major arcana and an ace, I go, yeah, this person, it, your person is going through something uh, really kind of deep here mm -hmm, or heavy. And the nine of cups is in the near future for them. And they have the Three of Swords. You see that? Yeah, this is really clear here. Your person is heartbroken. You are the one who has your Nine Cups full, all right? And this Leo, this person, this uh, woman, is she's just too giddy for me. I can't, like, it reminds me of those girls in, in high school that talk like that. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of those, those prissy girls. Yeah, I guess because maybe I was a little bit of a tomboy. I'm like, what? How can they how can they speak like that? That just sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> if you guys have a prissy voice, it's okay, all right? Because I feel like when you get older it's you know it's more attractive. But when you're little, it's like what? <laughs> okay, let's see here, you guys. <laughs> and in their desire is the ace of cups. Let's see what we got. Why is the ace of cups there? It wasn't even really voices. It was more the prissy. I didn't like these prissy girls who thought, you know, they just thought they were it and they were everything and uh, they looked down on other kids. Yeah, there was kids like that in school. And you're like, you're not all that. You need to take a good look here. Let's give you the mirror. Let's see what we got. <laughs> and now we have the Seven of Pentacles. And it's in the upright, and this is your person's concern. They're trying to figure out if you have a brand new beginning here with somebody else. Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's what it is. And over here, uh, Leo, uh, the star card's in their environment. And the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, they think you're going to have a brand new passionate beginning with somebody. Wow, somebody that you are like, somebody who has knocked your socks off, Leo. Yeah, big time. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, the star card. I mean, it doesn't get like, yeah, it doesn't kind of get any worse for your person, so to speak, right? So we're going to find out uh, what they desire, right, and their outcome. We're going to find out how they really feel about you, Leo. I'd like to see that. And the block, what they feel like is challenging them, yeah, or what has been challenging them, what you don't know about them, uh, Leo, or maybe what they don't want you to know. And any actions, what they're going to do, and you know how they're going to kind of go from here. They're all super affordable if you guys want to cross-watch. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want to make fun of my voice, it's totally okay, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. And you're, the best way, right, is to always get your own reading.